Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about a class 2 uh, network fault. Class 2, it's the uh, it's a, it's a GM, uh, General Motor Network. Uh, they were widely used, even now they're still used uh, by many uh, uh, GM models. And it is a, uh, basically what we have here, it's uh, our issue was a, uh, was a Cadillac, Cadillac that uh, uh, the customer was having issues with the ECM and basically um, as you can see on screen uh, he started jumping a specific uh, wire in there so he I don't know how he found out that if you jump the class 2 uh, wire and uh, it's on screen it's uh, um, the actual wire that he was jumping uh, and so he, he would jump it to power uh, to 12 volt power and it would zap the uh, the ECM uh, and all the other uh, uh, modules and basically uh, get the, the thing to work again uh, you know so uh, again class 2 is a single wire and this is the purpose of this video is to show you how um, I mean the, the how class 2 works operate and it, it is a single wire and you can see on screen the purple uh, the purple wire it's the uh, it's a network and it goes from module to module um, here on on the video uh, you can see the, uh, the our own uh, diagram that we actually made for the class 2 network and it, it's just a single wire uh, module that goes from one module to the other okay uh, oftentimes it, it goes into a main connector uh, meaning it goes into a um, uh, like a bridge connector uh, that you can actually uh, uh, unplug and test it to do some testing in there to see which module is having an issue uh, but it's basically a single wire sensor now one thing that we want to let you know is that class 2 and LIN networks which are widely used today for slow networks are, are, are tightly uh, they actually they're, they're very similar to each other now we started by scanning the car and as you can see on screen we have a U1000 code uh, we were also having uh, a u0100 uh, code all these u codes are, are network codes uh, we went in there in a bit of scanner uh, we scanned it as, as again now the issue is that the as you can see on screen these are all the modules uh, that this particular vehicle has and there's a bunch of modules on this one uh, meaning computers you know car computers uh, all these modules had one code one code five codes uh, three codes and what have you. We were using the hotel scanner on this particular, but any any scanner would have done for this particular case. And er, all these uh, all these uh, modules would carry a specific U code, a U1000 code, uh, pointing to the um, the class two data link uh, network. Now, uh, in this particular case, uh, we replaced the ECM. Uh, for this particular car for some reason um, I don't know why whether he the customer was zapping the class 2 with 12 volts uh, which uh, or and and he burnt the uh, uh, the ECM or not I, I don't know why but the, uh, you know the specific it was the closest module to be honest to, to the uh, uh, to, to the engine compartment and to the and to the actual um, what he was doing, uh, the, he was jumping the 12 volt to you know to the network. So anyhow, uh, the ECM will basically was the most likely cause for this particular uh, uh, problem because everybody else had history codes uh, for the class two, and of course you know he was sapping all the modules at once, and he saw we saw that the ECM actually had a steady code. Uh, which was a, not a pending code, in other words. So it, they don't call it pending uh, when, you, when you go into the GM uh, side, meaning not the, OG, the OBD2, uh, but basically that's, that's exactly what it was, you know. And so we replaced the, uh, the ECM and it took care of all the problems. And we, we had to, of course, reflash the ECM as well, you know. So anyhow, uh, this was a very fairly straightforward video more than, than anything else to, to show you that, uh, you know, a little bit about the class two networks. 
which is still in use for slower uh, General Motors GM uh, vehicle vehicles. Uh, it may be eventually be replaced with the Lean network, but it's uh, but it's still you know viable and, and it's a good uh, thing to learn. Uh, we also have a book on our website. Uh, about automotive networks. It's a nice book that you can actually buy as a download or as a printed book from Amazon. Uh, you can get it from us as a downloadable uh, book uh, on PDF so you can read anywhere on your phone, in your lab, tablet, laptop, so you know. And so you can have to search for on our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. So anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel, a ADP Training, and um, basically uh, give us a comment uh, as much as you want to comment, it's fine. Uh, we like comments. Uh, so we always answer our comments, you know, over the years, you know, we've had this channel. So anyhow, uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you want. And um, uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.